which one did I love and which one did I hate? There is a twist in the end, so keep on watching. Hello, and young. This is Yuhi from One Eye Beauty, the place for all the Korean beauty info in one eye. Happy April with April skin, everyone! I know that you can use this brand at any time of the year, but since it's April, I thought it'd be good to review two of their most viral products in their popular keratin line. This is not a sponsored video, that is why I'm going to be completely honest on my thoughts on these, revealing one that I absolutely loved and the other one I hated. So make sure you stick around until the end of this video to find out and share your thoughts as well. Before we kickstart, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to show some love and support. Kamsamita, thank you so much. So these are the two most popular products from April Skin's Keratin line. What is a keratin? Keratin is an organic pigmentation that can be found in many plants, especially in carrots, that gives it vibrant orange color. This can be converted into vitamin A, which is great for our immune function and skin health. It's a highly antioxidant and non comedogenic ingredient, so it's especially beneficial to those with troubled and acne prone skin types and those with uneven skin tone, and it's also great for skin brightening. If you want to find out more about this ingredient and many other ingredients to benefit your skin, go and check out One Eye Beauty website ingredients for you section. The address is oneeyebeauty.com slash ingredients for you, all in one word. You can go in and click on your specific skin concerns and see which ingredients will help to improve your skin and find the Korean skincare products that may help you. I'll add the link to this down at the information section below. So you think that the main ingredient of these two products will be carotene carrots, right? Well, in this cleansing balm, you can find its carrot-derived ingredients at the bottom of its ingredients list. So how much of those are actually in here? I'd assume very little. The main ingredient of this cleansing balm is actually 79% coconut oil. So to me, this sounds more like a coconut oil cleansing balm that is infused with a hint of carrot root extract and carrot seed oil. Contrary to this, this carotene carifrance serum is enriched with 10,000 ppm carrot seed oil, carrot root water, along with many other skin brightening, hydrating and soothing ingredients such as niacinamide, heart leaf, hyaluronic acid and centella asiatica. All of these sound amazing. So which one did I love and which one did I hate? I can guess which one you are thinking right now, but there is a twist in the end, so keep on watching. Before we dive into application, have you liked and subscribed yet? Did you know that only 17% of my viewers are subscribers? If you find this channel helpful and you think it deserves more subscribers like this wonderful subscriber has claimed, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Kamsamida, thank you so much. Even though this cleansing balm contains more coconut oil than carrot derived ingredients, it is a highly effective cleansing balm that removes all the dirt, residue, sebum and stubborn makeup really well with an amazing texture. This radiant orange cleansing balm has a silky sorbet-like texture that effortlessly melts into your skin. It contains 79% coconut oil, which is a deeply hydrating ingredient that effectively removes everything well, including stubborn makeup like waterproof mascara and foundation. Coconut oil is also a skin soothing ingredient that helps to strengthen the skin barrier. After rubbing this well on your dry face for about one minute, apply water on the tip of your fingers and keep rubbing for another 30 seconds to one minute so it turns soapy. This will help to thoroughly cleanse your face. This cleansing balm feels soothing with ingredients like tocopherol and many other natural plant-based oils such as orange flower oil, grapefruit oil, sunflower seed oil, spearmint leaf oil, and of course, carrot seed oil. Its carotene ingredients are rich in vitamin C, which will help to brighten the skin and even out the skin tone. It also has natural exfoliating ability, so it may help to melt away dead skin cells and blackheads. This cleansing balm has an amazing fresh sorbet-like smell and will leave your skin feeling fresh and hydrated. So as a cleansing balm, this does its job really well. I'm not too sure about its blackhead removal as I didn't notice anything dramatic in terms of that, but it removes all the sebum, residues, dirt, and heavy makeup really well. Above all, the smell of this cleansing balm is to die for. It has an incredibly sweet sorbet-like smell 
that I can smell all day and my dry skin absolutely loves this cleansing balm as coconut oil is an extremely hydrating ingredient. In my opinion, this product is most suitable for dry skin types as it's simply an oil-based cleansing product and it's very hydrating. For oily skin types, I usually recommend water-based cleansing products such as cleansing water or cleansing gel. If you want to find out more about this, you can go and check out my cleansing video which has hit over 125k views so far. But if you want an effective cleansing product that will gently exfoliate and help to remove blackheads, of course you can try this out even if you have an oily skin type. I say about a couple of times a week. Now moving to the next April skin product, Carotene Clarifying Serum. If I love this cleansing balm so much, then you can probably guess that I disliked this serum, right? Or well, before I get into the reason, let me explain to you a bit more about this serum. This serum has a lightweight, smooth and silky texture that glides effortlessly and absorbs quickly into your skin. This contains 10,000 ppm carrot seed oil and 10 ppm carrot root water, which are non-comedogenic ingredients that will help you to combat acne and blemishes. These ingredients are also rich in vitamin C, so it will help to improve skin texture, even up the skin tone and add vitality to dull skin. Furthermore, this contains many skin brightening, anti-aging and soothing ingredients like niacinamide, heart leaf, centella asiatica, adonisin, tea tree leaf oil and eucalyptus leaf oil. This serum also feels hydrating on the skin as it's infused with hyaluronic acid. So this serum is enriched with so many skin benefiting ingredients, but why did I dislike it? Because of its smell. Even though this is infused with many great ingredients, its smell is just Ugh, unbearable. Why did no one mention its smell? It's got really strong botanical smell. Oh, I just cannot stand this. So I can't use it. It's such a shame because this cleansing balm has an amazing smell. And what is wrong with this? In my opinion, what a waste of great ingredients. Even though I didn't have a great experience with its smell, this serum does contain great ingredients for blemish and acne care. So if you have trouble skin, I think you should still give a go at this serum. Guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts on these products, so please leave a comment down below. Which products have you tried or would like to try? Let me know. And if you're interested in shopping for any of these products I mentioned in today's video, all the shopping links will be down in the information section below, so go and check them out. And as mentioned earlier, if you're interested in finding out more about skincare ingredients and products that will help your skin concerns, go and check out our website, oneeyebeauty.com slash ingredients for you. I'll add the link to this down at the information section below as well. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next Korean beauty video. Annyeong!